Hello, I'm Quasar and we're back into the Lost in Random. And we're gonna continue our adventure into Five Tropolis. We're gonna talk to some people and probably we're gonna finally find out who is the ghost. So let's go! And we're back here. We wonder why since when we last time left we were at the many decks. We're curious and curious. Game says wherever the game wants and where the games wants. With life. Even at this late hour, perhaps the townspeople would have something interesting to share. And where you go in this place can be dangerous. You got question about this place? Maybe I do. Yeah, I do a lot of them. Of course you do. You're new. Got that hunger in your eyes. Time was we made the most wondrous cards here. Folks remember the dice these days on account of how there's only one. Your companions frankly dangerous and ill-advised customs. Not quite standing mind. But the cards were just as important. With the right cards you could change your fate. The fate of whole queendom. The cards are what gave Adais its power. It took pips, sure, but it also took real mighty cards. We don't make cards like that anymore. What do you make? You don't know? Uh, you will find out soon enough. You would better not say anything more. The queen's everywhere, you know. Assassins everywhere! They were really need more coins since I cannot buy more cards. Who there, stranger? Hello, good chap. Hey. You're not from around here, I can tell. Most folks living around here just want to do their jobs, honest, hard working folks, you know. That sounds nice. Aye, it was years and years ago. Back then, this was a place of magic. And the people were magic too. Hard working, but with a third eye open to the hidden rug weavers of the world, you know. Though maybe not open enough. Not since the Queen came. Oh, did not see that one coming, no. Now we got the old mystics here. Mixed with people sent here as punishment, and of course the kids sent here by the Queen's black dice to grow up laboring. Still got a flavor of old magic, but it's fading away every day, you know. Every day there's more despair, more work, and less magic in the world. Anyways, here I am bending your ear. You be safe, stranger, you're here. If you say so, I will be safe. Before it feels familiar somehow. 
Did you really? Uh, I must have dreamt it. Had she, though? Well, it was impossible for me to confirm, since we narrators never got to see what's going on inside our characters' dreams. <laughs> Third person, omniscient narrator, my eye. The last time when we saved with many decks, we didn't talk to those folks there, and we can't go back, so that's why the game moved us back there. We don't get any tourists here. Tourist, I'm not a tourist. Of course you aren't. I just said we don't get any tourists here. Therefore you're something else. No business of mine, of course. Because I used to be actually long ago, I used to know things. No. I'm not sure what I know. I will tell you how I ended up here though. Time was the five card makers here who here made beautiful objects, powerful things. Now they're employed, do the dirty work for the queen, never leaving their workshop. And this whole town has decayed to reflect that there's no beauty here anymore, no magic, pollution and regret. What do you make here these days? <laughs> Funny, just keep walking and keep your eyes peeled. Seeing something so great because something so awful it takes from you, kid. Takes things like you didn't know you had. It takes, and it takes, and it takes, until one day you find yourself sitting on the street talking to a stranger, just to hear a voice you don't really, you don't already know. Don't worry, I'm gonna stop the queen. I imagine you believe that too. See you never, kid. Many decks. Mm, coins. Many decks. What a surprise. Mm. No new cards. Never fall down when you say. Let's save. Let's do backup. And let's continue. Oh, you shut up! No, you shut up! No, you shut up! You shut up first! You shut up! Oh, yeah? Can I help? I don't know. Can you tell this lady here to shut up? Cute. But the real way to help is to tell this guy here to shut, and I cannot stress this enough, up! Who are you, anyway? <laughs> Someone who just got a peep talk from a death himself. 
Oh, let's go. Let's go. Chill way. Just a friendly stranger. Aha! So she's come to join my side. What you need to know is that there's two groups of people here in Fivepropolis. The mystics... Who spend all their time reminiscing about the past. We don't reminisce. We sense hidden energies that can help people. And then there's the workers who actually build things and keep this factory running. We mystics work in the factory too. Everyone works in the factory. So your fight is over for his best. Exactly. But forget about that. Listen, you're an impartial third party, so tell us who's right. Are the mystics, the original workers of Five Propolis, the ones who are the best, who do all they can to keep the unseen world in balance, even as they also toil here in the seen world? Or is it the workers, like myself, the honest laborers of Five Tropolis, who do an honest day's work without preaching about superstitions and mystic energies and whatnot? Hmm. Magic combined with hard work is the way forward. Compromise. I hate compromise. Nobody goes away happy. Nobody gets exactly what they want. But everyone gets to live in peace for a while at least. Which gives everyone more time to focus on literally anything else but this stupid argument. Truth? Eh. <laughs> Truce. Born now. And here, kid, take this. The prize of compromise. Coins. So let's see who is the ghost. Of course, it wasn't so easy. I barely remember my old town anymore. So I guess this is some sort of a train. And apparently now it's offline. I've read stories of the old days, but I had to stop. They hurt too much. The stories, or rather, their life was better back then. I smell trouble. Hugger! Hugger, call him, come here! Hugger! Ooh, red one!
fucker didn't explode. Personal shield. Coins. You've arrived, demon. Soon you will find your voice. But did I lost my voice? An effective general, and the war soon turned in her favor. Any remaining dice wielders who would not give up their companions were forced into exile, or worse. The Valley of the Dice hid itself from the Queen in fog, with its inhabitants and their power all but forgotten. Only the Queen's dark dice remained, all alone and all powerful. Yes. How thin there is a line between totalitarian regime. Hello. So you're the ghost? Salutations, even. I am the visionary. How do you know my name? Time is never so linear. You told it to me once in a future long past. I have watched you for a very long time, and I knew you would come here, to me. This all seemed a bit unlikely to even. Ooh, maybe this strange, floaty person was lying. I mean, uh, probably he was. Please, you're not the only one who can see things even can't. <gasps> He can hear the narrator. Who are you talking to, Mr. Visionary? Never mind, even. I should not have addressed him. Time is short, so I will be uncharistically direct. I am one of the sacred card makers. There were five of us once. There are five still now. We used to make every type of card imaginable. Together, we cared for this part of random, this five tropolis, until the queen banned all dice and with them the unleashing of creativity. Now we are bound to do the queen's bidding. With your dice, you have the power to defeat the queen and set things right. The rules that have strangled random for years must be erased, and true randomness must return. But... The future moves. Changes. You are a crisis, even, and an opportunity for both sides. I cannot see clearly through the rug weave, but I can tell you this. In order to defeat the Queen, you need a very special card. Find the other card makers, free them, and we will unite to make you a card that will shake the foundations of Sixtopia. We will make for you your dream card.
Follow my vision to the second of the card makers, the painter. And take this. It might come in handy. This is... Uh, uh, are, are you sure you don't need this? A visionary does not need mere eyes to see more. Now go. I have interfered enough. <sighs> right. And the train is online. Everyone likes to share their eyes, like Imur lost, lost the, his eyes, but this fellow likes to share his own one eye. I wonder if now we're gonna get ganked again. The no. He seemed credible. Or even incredible. And yes, maybe he could see things that he shouldn't be able to. And yes, that was alarming. But even knew the difference between novelty and fear. She pushed on towards the painter. Chew, chew. Hmm. Not really a chew chew. Even in Dicey, had set foot in five tropolis. Here, in the magical heart of random, is where the cards used to shape the very face of the world were made. But it had long since decayed into little more than a cold and dreary factory, used for purposes far less enchanting. Oh. So we just arrived to a different pipe of Tropolis with car train and I'm guessing we're gonna get ganked. A little bit too fast, but okay, we will manage. Killed it one. Ow. Ow.
but there are two cardinals left, so probably I will move through this area one more time and I will be ganked again. Oh, many decks, what a surprise. I'm busy. But the visionary sent me. Hmm. And I'm the king of freedom. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Always busy. Hmm. I think our sister is too far gone into the dark side. So let's go with I'm trying to stop the queen. That's what they all say. No scram. Please, we can't let the queen win. Lesson well, because I'm only going to say this once. We can't win. You know why? Because the Queen has already won. That means we lose, Key. We lost, and we lose, and we keep losing until she decides she's tired of winning, which is never. Oh, I've seen your coin before. Convinced that you're different, oh, you're special, and that if you could just reach her, you'll fix it all. Heck, I've even helped. You know what happens? You lose hard, and I'm still trapped here, forced to paint mad inventions for the Queen instead of the magical cards I used to love. All that changes is that you die a little sooner than otherwise, and my heart breaks a little more, and I'm tired of it. So no, I'm not helping you. Now if you please, scram! I'm not giving up on you. And neither is Dicey. Dicey? Oh my, where did you find that? This, this changes everything. That? A moment, love. Thank you. For what? Me painting your dream card? Least I could do, child. Frankly, it was a joy to paint something other than a dreadful robot for once. Oh, there'll be heck to pay once the Queen finds out. But you're going to reach her before that happens, won't you? You bet all your pretty paint buckets, I will. Ah, lovely. Your dream card, it's now off to the gluer. He's next in line. The gluer? An old colleague and a card maker. Perhaps the most important of all. Is there anything else you'd like to know, love? Tell me about the card makers. There are five of us. We each have a unique role in card creation. It starts with a visionary, who you've met, whose strange gaze can see things hidden to others. Then it comes to me, who paints the image, imbuing it with its earliest magic, upon which everything else is built. 
The gluer affixes the card to the backing. A critical job. The alchemist gives the card its spark of life and magic. And finally, the rule master lays down what the card can do and how it might be controlled. You know, the dull yet practical stuff. He and I don't talk much. Why don't you talk? You really just painted my dream card. I did, and it was a joy, love. Thank you. You've reminded me of how it feels to be me. I haven't felt like me for quite a long time. I think I'm going to chase that feeling. If you fail, the Queen will already be coming for my head after all. So I might as well enjoy the time I have left. What will my dream card do? Everything? You know, the visionary would know. But he's not the kiss and tell type. The rule master perhaps could tell you. As for me, I just care about the painting love. Come with me, join my quest. I'm just a painter love. I do my best work with a canvas and brush. And you've already gotten my best work in years. But I'll meet you when you need me most, and I'll add a few finishing touches to your dream card. I guess I'm out of questions. Then go, love. The gluer awaits. Could you paint a weak spot on those robots so I can defeat them more easily? Well, the painter had done all she could. Now, even was off to the gluer, who, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, might be in a sticky situation himself. Even found herself moving ever closer to the darkened heart of Five Tropolis. Wherever the Glua was, he was. Hey, hey! I'm trying to tell a story here! Hey, hey, hey! What do you mean? Don't touch me! No! No! Even? Anyone? Anyone? I guess our night. Narrator. No, Dicey. I just suddenly felt weirdly a alone. In a way I can't explain. If that makes sense. I'm lucky I have you. The narrator got swatted. <laughs> Someone just walked over my grave. I've got a bad feeling, Dicey. Queen swatted the narrator. So we need to rescue the Seymour and the narrator.
saving. I don't know what it is, Dicey. I just feel odd. Tired all of a sudden. Okay, I think this is the good place to end the episode. We found out two card makers. Our narrator got swatted. And we're gonna try to fix this in the next episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time. <laughs>